YouTubers, this video is all about this book, Bob Nichols, The Secrets of Double Action Shooting, written in 1950, except that it's very relevant today, and let's get into this book. All guns in this video have been checked for safety, unloaded condition. Now, how many times have you heard the following? Take up the slack on the trigger, and then press the trigger. Whether you're doing two-hand grip or one-hand grip, that's what's recommended, right? Or you might hear on a double action semi-automatic pistol, double action, take up the slack, feel the point where it's going to break, and then squeeze. How many times have we heard that? And then in single action shooting, the recommendation is hold the sights on target, increase trigger pressure. When the sights go off the target, hold the trigger pressure, do not increase. When it's back on target, increase pressure. And then as the sights are on target, keep increasing pressure and, and surprise break, the bullet hits the bullseye. That's what's recommended, right? And the Smith & Wesson double action revolver has such a nice single action pull. It's very crisp, very light, hold the sights on target, squeeze, and... How many times have you heard that? And how many times have we heard that the Colt is really good because as you squeeze a double action, it stacks up and lets you feel the stacking up, and then the hammer drops. And that's what's recommended, right? Well, what's wrong with that? And how is it possible that that can get you killed? In double action, you can take the Smith & Wesson trigger and do a two-stage pull also. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And or, there it goes. Or you can do a single-stroke, one-stage pull as well. So this cold system of single action shooting of squeezing the surprise break or double action stacking and squeezing the surprise break this system of shooting has been the basis of all marksmanship the way we teach all new shooters how to shoot hit bullseyes is this the way to shoot? Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the hot lead zone and according to this book written by Bob Nichols in 1950, entitled The Secrets of Double Action Shooting, the statement is made that double action is the best way to do all handgun shooting. Now that statement will be very hard to accept by most of the shooters today, but not according to Jerry Mikulik. And if you look at Jerry Mikulik, he's the most significant shooter of our time, and perhaps the deadliest all-around shooter there is on the planet. So we need to look at this and see how it applies to our own shooting. It might be very eye-opening. The book starts out with a very interesting annotation. It wasn't this single action fire that was the most deadly on the frontier, but rather this. And that's a variation of double action fire. Now even though the book was written in 1950, the statements are completely relevant today including everything about the Smith & Wesson long stroke double action revolver and the coming of the short stroke Smith & Wesson, not this particular model but they had other models that had a short stroke in those days that's relevant today and the only thing that wasn't present was the double action semi-automatic pistols of, the, of that day were very inferior and now we have the very smooth double action like in the SIG or the double action pull of the Glock and these are nice double actions where the precepts of double action shooting by Bob Nichols applies completely today. Not how this will save your life in a gunfight. Short strokes not quite as good. This is superior. Now this book is an excellent addition to your libraries and it's available from sportsmansvintagepress.com for $16. Now this book has complete relevancy today and find out why Bob Nichols back in that time 1950 when they had good automatic pistols high capacity like the Browning High Power 
and double ashen like the P-38 Walter, find out why Bob Nichols says that the double ashen revolver is the cunningly best and deadlier, far deadlier, than the automatic pistol. And find out why that these pistol shooting techniques of double ashen is the deadliest of all forms of pistol shooting. The book is designed to save the lives of law enforcement officers and private citizens faced with crimes against people. And that's because crimes against property are actually de-emphasized because we have insurance to cover losses from crimes against property, even banks. But the book further goes into the effectiveness of double action shooting in all manners of handgun shooting endeavors, even target shooting. A superior way to shoot targets, even NRA bullseye. Double action shooting. Most of us today don't even bother using the double action feature. We use the single action almost predominantly. And even in our double action semi-automatic pistols, the idea is to get that double action shot out of the way as fast as you can so you can go right to the single action pull. We don't understand how good double action is. One of the statements that Bob Nichols makes is that if you give double action shooting with a long action Smith & Wesson revolver a try, you'll find that it will actually show you and teach you, just by doing it, the goodness and effectiveness of this technique. YouTubers, we're not going to give away the secrets in this book, but once you have them and think about them and put them into practice, you're going to find that it's uh, interesting, very interesting. Understanding is the key. The double action techniques have to be applied with understanding. YouTubers out there, see you next video. Bye for now.